Hello, this is Homesteading Northwest Florida, and we're working on a Nissan Titan fuel pump, uh, Flex Fuel 2006, and this is a replacement Delphi fuel pump, number FG12770. I mean dash zero zero three two zero. That's what I have it written down as there. And I <laughs> I pulled down a tree during some very hot weather here. And I got this, the uh, fuel level sensor inside the pump looks like burnt like this. And I got a code P0463 which is the fuel level sending part of the pump. Well, I couldn't figure out how to take this apart. But you release this lower tab here. I'll try to point to it. You release this lower tab here and you slide this whole plastic unit down. And I just think it's kind of ridiculous uh, that they charge. I mean, I've seen replacements of this unit be, uh, and this is a 2 to, I believe, 80 or 85 ohm unit. Mine was reading all over the place, like 500 ohms, you know, on, I have it on my ohm meter here, and I'll show you the new one, which is a cheapo one. I mean, they want like, uh, so yeah, you release this lower tab and you push this down. I couldn't figure out how to get this out of here. So now we're done with that one. And it was all, that unit was all over the place. You can clearly see it's, uh, you know, uh, fried out and it was giving me that code. So it would never read the fuel, uh, level correctly again. So I got a new unit, and it was cheap on eBay, and it's for a Neith, Nissan uh, Pathfinder Xterra. And uh, I just want to, because the fuel pump still works. You can see in my other videos, I hook it up to the top here to a battery pack. And here's the top. Here's a battery pack to the center one is the ground and then this most left one right here is the power with the battery pack and my fuel pump was still sending fuel uh but i think it was my battery in the car that uh was got hot and you know so i think it's battery related while my, while i had a crank no start situation so anyhow, I ordered this new fuel level sensor part of the sending unit from eBay, and it was $12 and like 95 cents shipped. It will not have the correct float. I'm going to take the float out of my old one, which is here. And see, this one's smaller smaller fuel tank and a different angle it's not going to work but i'll take my i just want to try and see if this works i know i'll probably have to drop the gas tank again but we're going to try it out but as it sits now i have the okay where's the new little here it is all right i gotta snap this thing on here oh well, it might not work without a float arm in it but this is a different type of unit. I'm going to see if I can modify it to fit in there. I'm going to have to, I just did a tracing. I'm going to have to switch the grooves. This one has different grooves on the back. But it did read the correct ohms when I did it. It's for a Nissan Pathfinder Xterra something. And it was $12.95 shipped. Not uh, the cheapest one is $60 on Rock Auto. And these grooves are different. And then that little tiny thing, I think, is the release in the center. But the ohms did read correctly. 
that it was like 5 ohms or 2 ohms to 85 ohms. So it should be somewhat correct and not reading uh, the P0463. So I'm going to try it. I'm going to modify it so it fits in this fuel pump. And we'll see what happens. I also have to change the connector ends here. Those are like a cheapo spade end. And I'll have to change that. Like here was the connector. That's how I got that apart. I clipped this open. And I've been dealing with a lot of connectors lately. So I clipped this open. So at least you know how to remove this sending unit if you need to. It pushes down. You release this tab right here, this gray little tab at the bottom, and it pushes down. Because I could find no, you know, they want you to buy a $250 fuel pump, you know, brand new one, which I probably will. But uh, I might try this just to see. See, it pushes all the way down like that. Alright, thanks for watching.